Shut up and sit down. Hey you scallywags, today we're looking at these two, a double video review, Hero and Void of Annex 2179. Hero first, let's get this open. Oh, here we go. Look at that artwork. Really good. Really got that cyberpunk feel. Yeah. Hmm, this one has a crate. Detective Smith didn't have a crate. I'm waiting for this for a while. Look at him. What stuff there. This thing. Swords. Here's Hero. Now, Void. Yeah. So I pre-ordered these guys from Peer Club earlier in the year when they were first um, announced and put on there. So I've been waiting for a while. And here they are, finally. Grey or grey, yeah, grey box. Crate. Yep, here's stuff. Here's, yep, one bag for him. And figure. Let's see what hero... Look at that, he's torn from plastic. Yeah. Looking really good. As expected, the design is just awesome. Let's take a little void. Yep, just as badass. Yeah. So here's everything all laid out. Looks quite minimal, but it's enough. Let's start with uh, Hero. Hero here. Look at that crazy ass brain design. When I first saw this, I was like, I've got to get him. And uh, I put on pre order straight away. Does not disappoint. Look at that. Really liking that look. Let's uh, take off this bit. Let's see the goods inside. Whoa. Somehow even more menacing. That brain exposed. Very interesting storylines with these. Go check them out online. Yeah. Actually, I think I did a video with the stories on too. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, the rest of him. I really like the colours they use on this. It's not your normal, just you know, um, greys and blacks or whatever. And got some blues, purples, reds, greens. Really does give it that cyberpunk esque look. Look at these clown feet. They're huge. Well, it kind of suits them though. Yeah, so some new parts here. Uh, old buck underneath. Alright, so articulation, heads can move. Do all that stuff. 
So I can kind of go around there. Feels like it's a bit loose, maybe. Can pop this off really easily, yeah. See that neck bit we're so familiar with. Puts back on very easily. Right, so arm goes about there. All the way around. Twist. Bend. Oh, nice bend. This turns around and then there's a down and up for this left one. Right one also down and up. These can move for the swords. And you've got movement up here. The ball joint down. So you can go like that. Is up here is very impressive. Look, like you can fly at you basically. And there's a twist down there. Is Jean Claude? We hear row balls. They're twisted at the thigh. That goes up all the way like that. Amazing, and that goes back there too. This bends on a ratchet joint can go up and further up further stop look at that that's great best i've seen i think this there is a boot twist which is awesome down for the foot up and then pivot there and can okay, go on the other side too this thing that um, holds his soul or something, I think, I don't know. can't remember. And that there, that little blue bit, can come off. Be careful though, um, it's kind of jumped out of my hands. Um, it's tiny. So there is a bit there, you need to align it with that bottom bit. So you'll see here, look, just do that. Then also align it with that. Right there. Get it in. Oh, jeez. Bloody hell. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm lucky. Could have lost that forever. There. Nice and secure. Yep, quite tight. He's got this extra bit. So this just goes over the top. Or maybe uh, here I've got this officially. It's got all the new parts. You might want to twist it so it does sit flush. There, that'll do. That's the one. That does look good. These, he's got two short swords. With green, that looks really good. Two long swords, again in that green, which kind of catches the light in a, a nice way. So these he can hold, of course. Maybe there's too many though. Go there. Yep, just holds them as expected. Very nicely. And this you can store, so however you want to store it, let's try a short sword on the bottom. There. Throw that one there. That looks good. Try this one, the other way. Long sword at the bottom, short sword at the top. Yeah, that looks good too. Yep. Void. 
Look at this skelly. Synthetic skelly. Had to get him as well. See this bit opens up too. I was really more interested in, in uh, Hero, but I had to get this guy also. Closes like that. So it's not exactly the same, very similar. See this bit here is raised. That's the same though, it's just painted on. Yeah, the belt's partly the same, the arms are the same, and the legs are the same. So repaint, really. But it looks so different. That back bit there, the belt's different. To hold his uh, short sword. Looks the same. All right, articulation. Do this quickly. Head. Bit different to Hero's head. Yeah, feels slightly different. All right, so arm there, round, bend. This moves as usual. This goes down and up too. Same here on this side, to right, down and up. Moving up here, there, twist. Jean Claude! Avoid those balls. There's twist again, up with the leg and back there. So just like Hero, very good. And this, of course. There. There. Amazing. Now here, same. Bit stiff. Down. Up. And you've got that. Right, so here's one here. Same, but it's got a black one in there instead. And it's got no case for it either, no encasing. Again, be careful of these because they can flick out. There we go. So it just goes in. This plops in. Naked though. There's no... Uh, well, he's got no casing for his one. Just hardcore. Here's a short sword, no colour. That you can hold, of course, like Hero. And then store it here. Those are nice and simple. This bat looks menacing. Oh, didn't notice that little bit of red look on those three stripes. There's the handle. This fits in nicely. Nowhere to store this though. But I do like it. So there we go. First impressions, Hero Void. Awesome stuff. So I've got Hero and Void here. I'm gonna do a few comparisons. So it's Rigo, the Risen, two of them. There's still Spear with an Animal Warriors of the Kingdom head. Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, betray you. Master Chief. Boba Fett, old school retro. Caleb, Angels Born in Hell set. Videos on the channel, fairly new, go check it out. Skill Hole, thanks to Fryhole Customs for that. Joy Toy Military Dogs. Is this fella got his name? Joy Toy, older Joy Toy, though. 
having trouble standing up really. We go Capybara with Glaucus. Feelfully. Detective Smith, compadre of Hero in Annex Law. Here, Iron Factory, Transformer figure. Right, so I still a little bit of posing now.
So both figures are really, really good. Um, the designs are really kind of thought out. Like they're pretty much the same buck with a few differences, but they look so different the way they've been designed and the, the, the color apps and just they have their own personalities that are just completely different. Void here does look, you know, quite menacing. The skelly look. Hero, look. So pretty much the same. Well, very similar. And the chest is different. The head there, so he's different. Chest. There. Then his parts are just, yeah, the same, really. But Acid Rain do this well. Look. Just the, the small differences, they give their figures character. Like they know exactly um, what they want them to be. As much as I like Joy Toy, like I like those, um, that Risen, it just looked like it was kind of cobbled together. Where this was just a design, a particular design in mind. And it works really well. If I were to choose out of the two... I think for me, it would be a uh, hero. See, with hero, like here, void is just like your standard kind of figure. You can, you know, move them around and stuff, and no issues. It's just you know, the same sort of thing you might have had before. But with hero, it's weird. These things here, the swords and the way that they're put on him, gives them a different. Uh, dynamic like posing them. i thought i was at first a bit like uh no i don't don't have to work around the swords but they become part of him and you can pose them in a way that looks very very interesting with the swords on the side so it's figuring out what you think looks good and just working around that but it's a, 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 an interesting addition to this figure and gives him that extra oomph uh, that would, uh, which is why I'd uh, choose him over Void. And he's, yeah, he can store all his weapons as well, which is a big, big plus, in my opinion. Can't store that uh, battle of Voids anywhere. But with Hero, you've got more here. Yeah, see, look, it's just, just have them on the side like that, and they just give it, that extra look that makes it a bit more interesting to the eyes. And of course, that exposed brain with the. in that glass encasing is it's just a badass look, really. See, so look. Just those lines of the swords coming through in whatever way you want. I hope uh, eventually that they don't become sort of um, overworked and the the side bits and loose. But definitely, definitely very fun to mess about with. As of now, both figures on Peer Club are sold out. I know a few, a few of you in the States are waiting for your orders as of, uh, what was it, September at the moment. So if you can get them anywhere else, I would definitely recommend you do, as these are some brilliant figures. Anyway, I'll scale you later. I can do this stare down all day and all night. You're dreaming, mate. Your hero. Yeah, you're going to go down first. Not. That's unavoidable. Yeah. Hey, you skellywags! Things are looking a bit intense here. Why don't you guys chill out? Come on. You need to avoid your temper. Well, why are you even hero, mate? This is not punny at all. All right, guys. Um, I know what will make you guys feel better. Go visit Skellywags TV on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Skellywags TV. 
and don't forget to like, like, like comment, 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 share, share subscribe, subscribe, scallywag, 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 scallywag,